but um, she had given me the slip already but she went to go talk to another doctor or something and she came back with a two week appointment again so so I went to that follow up at 23 weeks and then again in two more weeks I had another follow up so 25th week follow up I went as soon as I got there I hadn't eaten by the way I had slept in that day my my kids were with my mom so I slept in and I felt dehydrated because I had, I had slept so much so I drank 25 ounces of water I got ready because my appointment was at 1 45 and I woke up at 12 30 it takes me 20 minutes to get to my doctor good morning, good morning. Good morning, baby. Hi, amor. Hey. I'm recording a video, amor. All right. Sorry about that. My son woke up and he wanted to tell me what he dreamt about. So I left off at, I was there for my 25 week follow up. And so I got there and I hadn't eaten because I went straight there. So I drank water, that's all I drank. I wanted to make sure I drank some water because um, I had to give him a urine test. So I was, I was getting prepared. And as soon as I got there, okay, I remember getting there and there being no one in the in the room and then it took a, it took a while. It took a while. I got there at 145 exactly. The nurse said that I wasn't on the list for an appointment, but I'm, I told her I have an appointment. So she let me in because I'm like, but she asked me if I was late. I'm like, no. It's literally 1.45 and then it turned 1.46, but I'm like, I'm here for my appointment. I'm on time. So she let me in and um, it was empty. The room was empty, the waiting room, and then two more women came. I was waiting and waiting 30 minutes. They weren't coming out to get me. Um, they called the lady that came after me, like 15 minutes after me. Uh, I'm hoping that that's not a problem. I'm talking pretty loud so that you guys can hear me. I'm so sorry. Uh, so I was looking around at the nurse like, okay, how long am I going to have to wait? I usually don't wait this long to be called in. I was hungry. I was super hungry. I hadn't eaten breakfast and I was like getting mad because I was like, I need to eat. I'm pregnant. <laughs> and so, oh, thank you. And so, yeah, so they called me after and it was the first time. First of all, she, she literally called me by my middle name, which has never happened. So I was like, you know, is that me? She's like, Elizabeth. I'm like, looking around like I, I well i'm jenny elizabeth but you know and then she's like guerrero i'm like oh that's me okay that's weird um and we laughed about it you know the nurse was like oh well i didn't i put you know i thought it was elizabeth i didn't know which one was your name i have three so <laughs> whatever so i went in as soon as she took my the first thing she did was to take my pressure it was high. It was 150 over one something. Um, my pressure has been 122 over 80 since I had started the pregnancy around there. So it was really high. She asked me, does your pressure run high? I'm like, no, it does not. This is the first time. And as soon as I saw, uh, she tried again. And it went up 160, obviously. I was worried, you know, over one something. 
I blurted out to her. I was like, that's one of the signs that I get when the baby has already died inside of me. She panicked right away as soon as I said that, but I had to say it. She panicked right away. She sent me in to, to give her urine and I went straight to the room. I let her know, look, um, I just need, I'm gonna go to the emergency room. I just need to know if I have a heartbeat, my baby. So can you ask the doctor if they could do an ultrasound? I'm waiting in the room. She said, okay, I'm waiting in the room still. Time is passing by. It's been an hour since my appointment time, okay? I usually, usually the my appointments there never take this long. And they had called someone before me who had taken 30 minutes of the time that I was there. So time is ticking for me because now I know my pressure is up. So I need them to work fast because I'm trying to leave to the emergency room. The doctor comes in and says, hi, I'm Dr. Blah, blah, blah. I wanted to talk to you about what's going on. Uh, your pressure is kind of high. I'm like, look, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but I just want you to check the baby's heartbeat before I leave because usually they beat up around the bush. No one wants to tell me. No one wants to tell me and I find out until they feel like it you know i don't I, i've been through this process twice before i just want to know that good morning good morning <laughs> excuse me so she leaves the room she comes back right away with the ultrasound and i hear the heartbeat i'm like thank you so much i gotta go She's like, wait, I got to give you the paperwork. I'm like, okay, I got to go. I have to go. And she comes, she gives me the stuff, and she starts wanting to explain what to do with it. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're telling me right now because all I have in my head is I have to go to the emergency room. I, I can't concentrate on what you're telling me. I'm sorry, I have to go. I left. I, I uh, had my babies and... Um, and my husband waiting for me in the car because my mom had brought us the, the kids right before we were leaving for the appointment. So I told him I have to go to the emergency room. My pressure's up. My pressure's high. Let's go. He dropped me off. He left to drop off the kids with his mom and come right back. So I ended up getting there on the 27th of July. Uh... My appointment was on the 27th of July. I went straight to the emergency room. I stayed in the hospital for seven whole days. I had three days that they were trying to control my pressure and keep the baby in my stomach to, you know, that hopefully that I would uh, get the pressure controlled and continue my pregnancy, but it didn't happen. Three whole days, I had magnesium. I had, um, I had so much stuff going on for those three days. They were taking blood every um, six hours from the moment I got there on the 27th to the day before I left. So on my other video, I, I, I remember saying for three days, they took my blood every six hours. It wasn't only three days. It was for, I think, six days. And on the seventh, I was healthy enough for them to stop wanting my blood. Um, and I have showed you I'm still I'm healing it looks so much better than the last video so During my stay I had blood coming uh, I had blood draws every six hours. I Had magnesium on me for six days as well um, I had uh, them bringing me uh, pain medication and a bunch of stuff, you know on The third day They came and they told me I'm sorry we can't keep him in there because the pressure is not regulating and it's going to affect you. It's going to affect the baby. We don't want that to happen. We got to go. I told them I want to try natural because I don't want to get cut open if I don't have to get cut open. So the doctor came. You know, she was 
getting me ready to try natural she they didn't want to give me an epidural they didn't want to give me nothing of that so i was like um listening to the process and you know it, i was like okay let's do it whatever i can't concentrate you know I, i'm sick i was sick i couldn't concentrate very well as soon as the doctor touched me I started panicking um, I guess I didn't know how much trauma I had from the last time the doctors touched me down there I started panicking so much and I asked her to stop I said nope okay I'll go with what you guys want to do let's do the cesarean they were telling me they wanted to do a cesarean just because my two kids that I have my five and seven year old they were born cesareans so this baby is so tiny 25 weeks I, I wanted to try natural, but um, I couldn't do it. I was scared. So they put me in for the cesarean. I had the baby that night, you know? And then I had uh, four more days stay um, to recover from the cesarean. My baby was born at one pound, five ounces. And he has been in the NICU since. I got to come home on the seventh day and he's still waiting to come home he's still waiting everything is going good you know he started at my on my breast milk he started eating uh, 1.5 milliliters the day that he was born every six hours then he increased to 1.5 milliliters every three hours then he had increased again to two milliliters every three hours, then to three milliliters every three hours. Then he just keeps increasing. And at this moment right now, he is uh, currently getting eight milliliters every three hours. So he's doing good. Um, they are telling me that he has to take some medication for a heart murmur. I'm hoping it works. I'm hoping that um, the medication works and they don't have to go in there and do any type of surgery on the baby because, um, I mean, because he, he was not taken out because he was, there was anything wrong with him. It was me and my pressure that could have killed him and could have killed me. So he's doing everything that he's supposed to do as a 25 week baby. And it's amazing I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys a little video that I had posted on my Instagram um, so you guys could get to meet my son long which has been long but that's the story thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart it's gonna be a long video as I can see and it means a lot if you've stayed this long to watch and listen to me if you guys want to hear about my other pregnancies and stuff like that just let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and make those videos I'm recovering at home still, but I am good, you know, I'm doing good um, at the doctor, at the hospital, all the nurses, you know, the comments that I was getting every time they asked me, what's your pain, mama? I'd be like, nothing, no pain, you know, and they would just be like, wow, you must have high tolerance pain, you know, you just had a cesarean. I'm like, I guess I do. 
I get told that every single time I end up in the hospital. You know, as well as all the nurses complimenting my husband because he cleans me and he does all the things that the nurses are supposed to be doing because he's always there. He's always there and it's the only thing that he can do that he feels like he can do for me. And so it was nice. The nurses were happy and they were complimenting him. And we're just like, it's weird for us because we're like, that's how we are with each other, you know? And other people get so surprised because I guess not everybody is like that. So our hospital stay was all over the place. You know, the nurses were great. Um, and everything went as good as it could have. You know, everything that I was worried about happened, but I survived the process and my baby survived the process. And all I can say is thank you, God. You know, I'm rambling again. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna keep up with the story, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to hear more. I'm going to go ahead and post them, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Bye.